This week, there are several updates in the project, but most significantly, viewer participation has increased. I would like to call out Ellen Yates, who has taken the Loves project off my plate and is going to be championing this uh, going forward. I'm not going to be doing the Loves things anymore. If you want updates, I recommend subscribing to Ellen's uh, channel. And he'll be doing updates uh, periodically with more frequency as the project starts rolling on. And I'll put a link to his channel in the um, update number one down below in the description. And just so anyone knows, there's lots of these projects going on. And I personally find it darn near impossible to keep track of them all. There's the Walmart. There's the Mercedes-Benz charging hub, both at Bucky's and Starbucks. There's Ayana coming on the... Um, wings there's electrify america tesla kind of has their own uh fanboy base that takes care of that but there's just a lot of implementations ev go native i would kind of like to do um so if anyone wants to take some of these projects you could either contact me or just go ahead and do it and i'll call you out on any videos that i do and i'm happy to pawn some of these off i do it just kind of as a labor of love and um i'm doing this research anyway so i figure making videos is kind of a light bit of work that I can give back to the community on and uh, just my part to contribute. Um, but if anyone else wants to do anything like Alan has uh, done for loves, just uh, feel free to do it and let me know and I'll be happy to call your channel out. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the update. As I mentioned, viewer participation has picked up and what we had as a result of the anniversary was, let me shrink my big fat head down a little bit. Anthony uh, recommended that I do a poll. And so I quickly did so. We have 110 or 106 votes so far. And right now, with six, we're at 67 open. Um, the vote is 80 to 89 with 32% of what will be completed by December 31st. I personally think that's a little low. My personal vote is a smidgen over 100. So I'm putting my hat right here in 100 to 109. I think they're going to pour on the steam here pretty quick. Just by looking around at the environment i think there's quite a few locations that are getting ready to get greenlit pretty quick because you can see this uh the screens are on and they're likely just waiting for municipal uh permitting for business licenses and things like that so i think this is going to go pretty quick actually also i took some time to consolidate the data into a line plot of the growth of the network and a couple of things I want to call out here. Initially, we had eight stations open, and then it popped up to 10 a couple of days later. And then we had a little bit of a breather while they caught their breath. Went up, it went up. And right here on December 31st, January 1st, they hit the 25 mark, which was their goal for the year. And then it just kind of stagnated uh, until the middle of February, where it started to pick back up again. What happened here is Pilot Flying J was purchased by Berkshire Hathaway. And there appeared to be a deliberate pause in activity. Not only were there no stations opening, there was no new construction getting spotted. It was just a real lull in activity. And I think as a result of that, and the team kind of getting reevaluated and reassessed, and the project all getting um, uh, brought underneath the owner's new goals, uh, they lost almost a quarter of a year in um, inertia because they were really clipping along here at the tail end of the, the year and then they just kind of lost their steam and as a result i don't think they have any shot of getting to 200 but you can see the graph um, right now they're on a trajectory where they're clipping along at a pretty good pace and uh, since what june so if you plot the line graph here before june we would have been down here but since june we're on a pretty good trend going up and uh, getting multiple stations per week typically Again, this is the map that what is supposed to be done by 2024. There's nowhere we're going to get this. But even if we've got half of that, that's a pretty damn good network. And then there's going to be 300 more after they finish the first 200. So sometime in 2025, likely they'll finish the first 200. And then there's going to be 300 more, which basically accounts to every single pilot flying J in their entire portfolio. Because they have about 700 and change. But you don't have to put a charging station at every single one because this company is a real monster. Sometimes at interstate exits they have locations on both sides of the exit and once you see this place it's like wow how did i ever miss this but some i've even seen some exits where there's three 
properties on one exit, two on one side, one on the other. So they are a very heavy presence on interstate exits. And you don't only need to put a charging station at one of those. So the 500 is basically the entire portfolio. The new one this week is Troy, Illinois opened up. It's east of St. Louis. And you can see we kind of have two little feeder bands coming into the St. Louis area. And then we now have Troy, Illinois on the opposite side of it. Uh, the first one in the state of Illinois. Newly spotted under construction, the state of Texas has accomplished the unthinkable by unseating Ohio as the state with the most open and under construction. Two new one, there's Laredo, Texas, which is down here near the Mexican border. There's the new one, which is Cotala, I believe is how it's pronounced. Then new, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Ronefels, which is north of San Antonio on the I-10 corridor. So San Antonio, uh, this is George West, this is Laredo. This whole area in here has quite a few. Houston has four open, one spotted under construction, still waiting to open uh, in Orange, Texas. So Houston has four, all this cluster down here and all totaled up. That means Texas, let me go back one. Here's the ones that are open. You can see here there's four in Houston, there's Amarillo, uh, there's Dallas, there's Tyler, and then the one spotted under construction. That puts uh, Texas uh, in the lead. I'll get to the counts here in just a second. This is what the new this update looks like in table form. Um, new Brandfellas is a canopy location. You'll see that in the canopy slide deck coming in after the update. The prices have normalized to 58 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're now at a very even 58 cents. You can see we came in for a landing and that seems to be the target price, which is respectable. I don't really see anything wrong with that average price right there. Uh, others might differ, but I think that is very competitive to what the national average should be. And as we can see, the highest prices are all 69 cents and the lowest prices are all 45 cents, indicating that there is some normalization in pricing. And again, when I did the pricing checks this time, there really wasn't a lot of variability. Things have kind of stagnated as far as pricing goes. Um, and so it just as the network matures, I suppose that's to be expected. And here's the slide count, the slide that shows the uh, counts. And uh, the money maker, as you can see, Texas is now in the lead. It surpassed Ohio. It now has 19 locations spotted under construction or open. The great state of Texas takes the lead. Also, if you look here, Interstate 35, uh, that's a Texas interstate uh, going all the way from Laredo all the way up to uh, through Austin and into Dallas, I believe. So it has six and it's creeping up the list there. Uh, 75 still in the lead with 13, I-40 nipping at its heels. Uh, the central time zone has 24 open, 23 spotted under construction. The eastern time zone has 40 open, 22 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has one open, seven spotted under construction. The Pacific time zone has two open, two spotted under construction. We're at 67 total and 54 spotted under construction. I should note that there was a little bit of a data glitch. I've neglected to put Franklin, Tennessee in the open count. So although we jumped two this time, we actually only opened one and the other one was just a mistake getting corrected. And here are the nebbies which are unchanged from the last update. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the slide deck that shows all the canopy locations, both open spotted under construction, as well as the data tables with all the location information included. Thanks for watching.